Zay has been in Munich since the beginning of September and so I am on my way to meet him after not seeing him for three weeks which is practically the whole month and today is actually our wedding anniversary and because he's working we decided that I would meet him in Munich <laughs> Good morning, today we're going to this organic German flower shop and we're gonna buy a bunch of flour to make delicious bread and I'm very excited about it. I found it online, I hope it's good. It is Saturday afternoon and I'm gonna bake some bread today. Me and Zay are both super excited, so we're gonna bake two loaves. He's gonna make his own loaf and I'm gonna make my own. I want to make like a slightly sweet bread, but not too sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna experiment a little bit and hopefully everything will go well. Let's, let's hope so. I'm feeling so tired right now. I just really want to go to sleep, but I still have to wait another hour before I can put the bread on the fridge. And before that, I have to do the shaping. So, oh, yeah, I just really want to go to sleep <laughs> right now. I started way too late.
Siri. So the weather changed pretty quickly from one day to another and it's been really cold and rainy these past couple of days. And to be honest, I thought I was gonna have a much harder time dealing with it, but it's actually been fine. Even though I wasn't really ready for summer to be over, autumn is my favorite season of the year, so I am embracing the coziness and enjoying the little moments. I started painting watercolors again and it feels really nice. Painting for me has been the only creative thing that I do where I don't really care much about the outcome. It feels really liberating to have a creative outlet where I can just create and express myself without thinking too much about it. And so I'm trying to create space to do it more often and fight this little demon in my head that seems to bully me every time I do something that doesn't really seem productive. cozy to be honest. Um, excited about being wrapped around blankets again and eat lots of soup and a bunch of different pumpkins. One thing that I've been struggling with though, which is something that it's not really new for me, I feel like I'm constantly struggling with this, is my natural inability to keep up with a routine. Super bad at it. And I mean, I can keep up with things for like a few days, maybe a week, a few weeks if I'm lucky, but most of the time things just eventually crumble. I'm not really good at managing my personal time as well, so sometimes things can get pretty overwhelming and chaotic. Maybe deep down my issue is that most days I'm just dealing with some kind of executive dysfunction and I just don't really know how to deal with that yet. So I think it would be quite beneficial if I could find a way to have some type of structure around my weeks or my months or maybe even the seasons, something that is not too strict and easily adaptable. Don't really like routines where you pretty much do the same thing every single day for a long period of time. I get easily bored. So for example, instead of saying that I'm gonna do yoga every single day, I'm just gonna say to myself that I'm gonna do some type of movement, body movement every single day. And that can be yoga or Pilates or a dance class, maybe just some stretching or going out on a walk, setting some time to paint, for example. I really love painting watercolors. If I could manage to cultivate the habit to keep up with a daily workout or movement and something creative and, I don't know, have some healthy social life, that would be the dream. I think it could be quite beneficial for my mental health and my overall well-being, especially because I do struggle with anxiety and depression, plus so many hormonal changes throughout the month. But the thing is, if you struggle with anxiety or depression, you know that some days you struggle to do even the most basic things to take care of yourself, like shower, or getting dressed and through therapy i was able to learn a lot about myself and my behaviors for example i've learned how to stop myself from having constant panic attacks they still happen of course but it's every now and then not quite as often as before and my logic is if i can change 
this behavior which I thought was impossible at a certain point. Maybe I can change some things that I'm struggling with right now. So I guess my issue right now is to have the discipline to build up healthy habits. There's still a lot of work for me to do when it comes to my mental health, but I think when you finally recognize and become more understanding of the reasons behind your behaviors and more aware of your triggers, then it's time to move on to the next phase, which I think is to challenge those behaviors. It's not enough for me to just intellectualize it. I need to do something more practical about it. And that took me a long time to realize. When I'm going through a rough period, the first thing that I immediately stop doing is exercising, which is kind of ironic because I intellectually, I know that exercising and doing some type of physical activity is actually going to make me feel better. And so to the best of my ability, I've started challenging those behaviors because even though in a crappy moment, it feels really comfortable to spend the whole afternoon playing The Sims, at the end of the day, I actually feel way crappier. What I was trying to say here is that when that behavior becomes a regular habit, it can actually do more damage. At least for me, that's what I found and that's what I was trying to say here. When it comes to exercise, I've started by taking like really small steps. I started working out at least 10 minutes for two days of the week and eventually those 10 minutes became 20 minutes and then I went up to three days a week. Doesn't matter which time of the day, doesn't matter which day of the week, especially now as I am applying for jobs and I really hope to start working again soon, I think it would be beneficial for me to cultivate these habits beforehand so that whenever I start working, I don't lose the habits. When I was working as a content producer, I was struggling a lot with the work-life balance. Rarely took time to relax and do something for myself, something that I enjoyed. And that, with everything else in that environment, led to a burnout. And so I am being extra careful this time. Anyway, I just really wanted to share this because I know that a lot of people also struggle with this concept. So maybe you can relate to it or not. There's also those people that can actually keep up with routines and I don't really understand how that works, if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Zay got me the most adorable mug that I've ever seen in my life. It's so freaking cute. I love it so much. <laughs> it's from Tiger, by the way. <laughs> mm. Ah, yeah. Oh, I'm actually feeling a little tired today. Last night we had dinner with some friends. It was a very early dinner and we did went out for a couple of drinks afterwards. I'm such an introvert, my social battery doesn't last very long. And so every time I have something like this, which is always very fun and I always really enjoy it, but the next day I always feel just a little bit drained. When it comes to my social life, like I said, I'm pretty much an introvert, but I do enjoy spending time with friends, of course. And I mean, we all need some type of social interactions to in order, in order to survive. But I do tend to isolate myself quite a lot. I think mostly because of my anxiety. A lot of social situations tend to stress me out, especially when going to a bar or a restaurant where usually everything is very loud and there's gonna be a lot of people there and you cannot really control the environment in any way. And I actually realized this year that a good percentage of my stress in those situations actually comes from sensory issues that I found that I had mostly with sounds 
And actually, per recommendation of a friend of mine who also struggles with the same thing, I got myself a pair of loop earplugs. I seriously cannot believe how much they have changed my experiences in social situations. Before I got the earplugs, I relied a lot on my no noise cancelling headphones on public transportation or when going to the supermarket. But of course, I'm not gonna wear my headphones when I'm at a bar with friends or just hanging out. And so these earplugs have been extremely helpful. I wore them all the time in New York and honestly, it made the whole experience so much better. They're also extremely comfortable and practically invisible and this totally sounds like an ad, but I promise you it isn't. Uh, I don't know, it might be helpful for somebody else to know. I've been trying to make more of an effort to not isolate myself too much. I mean, I still need my alone time. I do like being alone, to be honest, but I also need to have social interactions and it's important to talk to your friends and hang out with your friends, cultivate those friendships. I don't know that many people here in Berlin yet and I think I need to get out more if I want to know more people. I still have to find my people here, but making friends as an adult is extremely hard. I do know a few people here and Ze has some friends from his university days that also moved here recently, but a lot of the people that we know actually love to go clubbing and love the whole techno scene here in Berlin. And that's just not really my thing or this thing. I don't know, it's just not really our scene. We much rather organize a dinner party or go to a good restaurant and have like a nice conversation, maybe go out for a few drinks at a, at a bar or a jazz bar, for example, or go to a concert. We much rather do those things than going out to clubs. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here. I'm scared that this is gonna be way too long <laughs> at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It did end up being a little bit more chatty than I thought. Also, let me know if you're also a person who struggles with this whole routine issue that I have. Or if you're a person who can actually keep up a routine, please give me tips. <laughs> Cause, uh, I don't know, everything just feels all over the place at the moment but I'm trying to be more organized and maybe we can help each other out? I don't know, let me know what you think.